Okay, so let me share some slides. I want to welcome everyone. I want to give a very brief uh, overview of our School of Engineering and how, uh, if you belong to a small company, how you can join us, how we can help you, how you can, how you can help us. So um, <clears throat> I just want to say that in our mission, and this mission has been uh, that statement in on our website for a very long period of time is that we do believe in helping with the economic development of our state so along with education and research this is part of our mission so we believe in generating ip starting companies and working with our local industry just to give you an idea about our school we have basically six departments nine bachelor's programs, 14 masters, 10 PhD. We've been around uh, 100 tenure track faculty for the last 30 years. And uh, we have added more faculty uh, <clears throat> at the lecture position, but we do have a lot of research professors that work with us. And most of those folks are from Sandia, the Air Force, and Lano that may have retired and they decided to work with us. And, and when we say adjunct, we have a lot of faculty that are already actively are working now at Sandia and AFRL and Los Alamos that are, you know, have some joint appointment with us. We are about 2,700 students. We're the largest engineering school in the state and we have the largest graduate program as well. Uh, we are an economic engine in a sense, although the state gives us $22 million that covers basically salaries, we bring 35 to, you know, 36, 37 was the max uh, every year in research funding that comes from mainly the federal government into the state. So we bring more and we're the only college on main campus, the only college that brings more than it gets from the state. So 68% of our students are from the underrepresented groups. 24% are really uh, women engineers. So um, basically I talked about the six departments and um, we have eight affiliated interdisciplinary programs. We have programs with physics. We have programs with uh, uh, business school. We have programs with the medical school. So we do have a lot of programs and um, <clears throat> because of the nature of the research work today. These are the primary research areas, and I'm going to let you glance through them. We do aerospace, biomedical, machine learning, energy, water, resilience, additive manufacturing, nanoscience, photonics, scalable computing, nuclear, high energy, and high power microwaves. I mean, I mean, a lot, every faculty can do their own research, but these are what I would call the emphasis areas. We produce or we graduate every year about 600 students. That, in, that includes um, undergrads, grads, and grads, okay, at the master's and PhD level. So that's 600 students. So if you're a company and you want to recruit top caliber engineering and computer science, you got 600 students every year as a pool. Uh, Every program that we've got in the School of Engineering and Computing is the highest program in the state. Doesn't matter what other rankings you see around, this is it. We are, uh, these are the rankings from the US News. These are the Cadillac uh, of all rankings. And so we have the highest ranking programs, both at the undergraduate and graduate in every program we've got. Um, again, what we're very proud of is that um, only the medical school and uh, I think biology maybe and chemistry can compete with us in terms of the number of uh, patents. We have that competition and the School of Engineering is doing very well, but we're very proud of this because UNM, all, us, all of us together, we 
you know, in the last, what, 10 years now, we have uh, ranked in the top 100 uh, worldwide, you know, all universities in the world in the number of U.S. utility patents. So we're very proud of that. And thank you, um, uh, Lisa, for keeping these statistics for us so we can brag. I just want to say the School of Engineering, we believe not only in generating IP, but we got a lot of companies. I'm going to just flash some names here in all different areas where they've either started with our faculty or our faculty have been involved with. So, you know, so that tells you that we do believe in startups. And uh, again, uh, we got this capability at UNM thanks to Rainfall Solutions where we can do this stuff. Not every university has that capability. Um, now the question is, how can industry work with us? Well. I'm going to give you some ideas. First of all, I just flashed here some research labs, but theoretically, every single research lab that we've got can be made available to industry. Uh, some of those are multi-million dollar facilities are very expensive for small companies to really build, but we can make, we can make those available and some already are available to you for a small fee, of course. Uh, we have, if you want to find out what kind of expertise we've got, we already have a website that we maintain uh, religiously where you can click on it and you can find out if you want to team up with somebody in an SBR, STTR, or you want to consult with somebody, or you want to find a student in a specific area, you can get in touch with any one of our faculty here. Uh, some opportunities is that we do work with the New Mexico, I mean, the Sandia that runs this New Mexico small business program. So if you apply there, they usually hook you up with us so we can help you with your product with some consulting uh, to help you improve your product before you compete for bigger grants. You can also always sponsor students through internships. Uh, we got those STEM mixers that we you know invite industry to come in and meet our students uh we can work on joint proposals with you we can of course be consultants with you uh you can join our uh, <clears throat> a new program we just uh, created it's called the industry affiliates program uh sandia frl honeywell intel have joined so you have uh, certain access, easy access to our students, some of our activities. And in general, you're welcome to invest, you know, in our school, uh, either through scholarships or donate equipment, or if you have enough cash, you can donate that too. So uh, that's it. That was my presentation. I just want to welcome all of you. And I can't wait to hear from my own faculty about their you know, IP and what they're doing.